So today I thought I'd just give you a quick demonstration of how I bring stuff in to Pro Tools to set it up for a session to mix. So a lot of the files I get for mixing are not recorded originally in Pro Tools, and that is fine. There's no problem with that. I can get them into Pro Tools because that's what I work in. So I have my template set up here, and all this is, my template, it's basically my console. So I have some routing already in there. I have some effects that I usually use already set up. It's just It just speeds up the process. I've got a lot of that in there. Um, it helps me remember what are the things I like to use on stuff. So I loaded my new session, named it, and now I'm going to bring in the files. So I've got the folder here. Whoops. Put Pro Tools into shuffle mode, which is going to basically snap everything to the beginning of the session. So here we go. All right, so it's bringing in the files and it's going to draw the waveform. So we'll fast forward through all of that. All right, so I've got everything in here now. Uh, first step I've got to do is get everything kind of sorted out to where it needs to go. So thanks to folder tracks in the latest version of Pro Tools, I can do that a little faster. So I'm just going to go through all these. So I'm going to kick in. We'll move that to my kick. Snare top, snare bottom. Can move to the snare. Um, hat. There's some overheads. We'll move those to overheads. Toms can go to toms. <laughs> Now I've got everything kind of in folders where I want it. Now I need to get all the gain staging right in all of these. So, all right, so go back into slip mode. So I use a program called Defaulter. So I'm just gonna find some sections of tracks where they're getting hit kind of the same. Let's go to the kick. These actually don't need to be that much. I'll zoom in, find some toms. That looks like a good tom hit. Let's see, that looks like it's got some good tom hits. Hi hat and overheads, we can just pick a section. These don't need to be that long. And I'm just Command T to trim them. Whenever I'm doing tracks or things that are probably stereo, I always want to kind of do the same sections of them. So I use a plugin called Defaulter, and I have some presets. So all of my drums, I want the peaks on those up at about neg two, two and a half. And I'm just going to turn on this fire macro keys. There's a macro set up on this. And... I hit analyze and it's going to go to town adjusting gains for me. Takes a little bit. All right, so there's all the drums. Now I need to get all the instruments. So for this, I usually do NIG 20 RMS. Again, I'll turn on Fire Macro and let it go. Got everything there. I'm going to shrink it down so that I can see everything. Now, oops, let's delete that. So now I'm just going to select everything. Control Command T, pop 
pops everything back open and I have my new clip gain settings on everything. So now I've got good, good gain staging on everything. Now I need to get my track presets loaded. So kick and this will route these to those folders and it'll also put a bunch of plugins on that I like to use, but most of them will be bypassed. Here, I'll pull it open. So there's nothing going on on that, but there's a bunch of stuff that sometimes I use. So I'll go to snare. Thumbs. And you get the idea, I'll fast forward. Here I've got some stereo tracks, so I'm just gonna do a couple of stereo tracks. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna call these yet, but I know I've got these. Just drag those down. So this is SPD pad and tracks one and two. I know what that was. Delete these old guys. And you notice it's color coding everything too for me so that I know what it is. Here's some more tracks. There we go. So that put everything in there. Now I just need to get my VCAs assigned. So we'll show only VCA masters. So kid inputs, this is gonna be bass. There we go, ready for mixing. Pretty quick, took me 20 minutes maybe, and I'm all set. Um, last thing I'll do, I'll go to audio tracks, and now I'm just on my control surface. I'm just gonna pull the faders down and everything. so that I can throw up a rough mix. So, uh, there you go. Hope you found it interesting. Maybe gives you some ideas of things you can try. See you next time.